Hey, good morning, pool players. Ron here. Hey, I'm inspired, man. I'm inspired today to uh, do a. I'm gonna try to keep this under 10 minutes. I'm gonna try to get the, through this and keep it real sweet and not and not confuse you. Uh, if I could say to you that this ball right here could be the greatest instructor you've ever met, would you believe that? I believe it. It's true. And I'm gonna explain to you what happened to me by just observing this cue ball that made all the difference in my stroke. But before I do that, I wanna give a quick shout out, a thank you to two individuals. I'm not even sure if they're subscribers. They might just people that uh, stumbled across my uh, video and uh, they just wanna make comments. Uh, it's an older video and it was how to strategically practice your pool game. And uh, the names of these two individuals First is Sayed, and the other one is Everything Chris. You guys are watching this. Thanks a lot, man, for those kind words. Uh, it inspired me today to do this. And uh, so let's cut to the quick. Let's talk about this. Those that have followed me, and I realize, I think it's been 155 days now since I've actually been playing pool. I really mean that. I mean, I played pool for a long time ago, but when I started to really really want to, I, I should say started to really want to, I wanted to always, but I really poured myself into the game as of February 22nd of this year, 2021, when I got this table. So only 155 days, okay? And I started to work at my game. One of the things that makes a great pool player is their the foundation or their stroke. If you don't have a good pool stroke, you're not going to consistently be good at pool. I really, it's the bottom line. And as I was playing the game and working on my stroke and doing all the different things, I was occasionally missing balls, you know, bugged me. It's like, okay, I'm practicing a lot. I got a lot of hours and why am I missing the ball? I stumbled onto something. And, and let me explain uh, how it kind of all played out. I first of all hooked up with Niels Fine out of the Netherlands. I actually even took one of his uh, little courses online and everything. <clears throat> but he has several videos that are free on YouTube, just like I, myself. Uh, you can watch and you can pick up things from. And I learned a drill that he was performing at the time and it was called the Mighty X. And uh, there again, those of you that watch my videos, you'll see that I really talk a lot about that drill. I think it's an awesome drill. It's best. I think it's the best drill out there, really. Um, and I started performing that drill, and the hardest variation of that drill is the draw shot. The draw shot is not only difficult to perform physically with that, it's a long power draw is what it is, but it's... It can reveal things within your stroke if you pay attention. So let me explain what happened to me during the draw shot that Niels, you know, was, was having me perform. As I would strike the cue ball, and, and, the, and the shot was a long, a lengthy kitty corner shot, cue ball way back here, trying to pull the cue ball all the way back to this pocket, I was consistently seeing rotation not rotation coming straight back, but side spin rotation. I was seeing a counterclockwise spin as it was coming back. Counterclockwise would mean that your cue stick is hitting to the right side. Me being a right-hander, shooting it to the right side, counterclockwise spin, coming back, that I was not hitting the ball in the middle, not hitting the ball in the center. As a result, I would miss cue because I'm trying to hit so low and I was not hitting a, a large portion of the ball. I was hitting like a cut shot, a cut draw, power draw. And that's just, if you're trying to hit as low as you need to hit to get that shot to come back, it ain't gonna work out well. Okay, in, the, in that process, I posted a couple of videos and Mitch, one of my subscribers asked a question about how do you, how can I find cue ball center? I couldn't answer that. I mean, I didn't have a really good answer. One of my other subscribers, Scott Bocci, he chimed in. He says, best way to find cue ball center is third eye. 
So Mitch bought the third eye, started using it. I decided to do the same. It was $16. By the way, this is the third eye. If you're looking at that for the first time in your, in your uh, life, pay attention. $16, best investment you'll ever make. But there's a way you can test before buying that. You can test, and, I, and I'm going to explain it right now, to see if you need it. So Scott Bocci mentioned it. He says, man, get that thing. I bought it, ordered it, sat on my shelf for about two weeks. Didn't really use it. Scott mentioned it a couple times. He says, hey, man, have you used that, that third eye yet? No. He said, man, you got to use the third eye. You got to figure out where you're hitting. I said, okay. So I got the DVD out because it comes with DVD and I watched it. And I was like, ah, oh, I see how that works. I didn't know how, really what it was all about. So let me explain it before I go further with this video. The third eye has two prongs and see the cue ball is smaller than the opening of these prongs. The cue ball is two and a quarter. This is two and a half, the inside span of that. So that means two and a quarter, two and a half, there's a quarter inch. So each side, if the cue ball is in the middle of this, has one eighth of an inch of gap. Simple. I get the thing out and I line up on the Mighty X drill and I look at the, at the cue stick and the cue stick, what I perceive to be in the center of the cue ball and I look at each prong on each side of the, of the cue ball, on the right side I got a big gap and on the left side I got no gap hardly. I'm like, what the heck, I'm seeing the cue ball in the center of this thing. I'm, I'm thinking, is it on straight? <laughs> I mean, I'm really thinking this thing ain't right. Is it bent? Am I looking at it right? You know, here's the deal, guys. In the in the creator of the third eye actually talks about this. Virtually everyone, with very few exceptions, everyone perceives the center of the cue ball as being center when it's really not. Okay. What I did, then did is I then adjusted the prongs so they were equal on each side of the cue ball. And then I looked at the, the alignment of my cue stick in relationship to the ball and it was off. What I was perceiving to be off to the left, about a 3 30 seconds of an inch. I trusted it and I made the shot because in the, in the DVD he shows, you know, you can shoot with the third eye on. The very first time I stroked the cue ball on the Mighty X drill, I had zero rotation, just tumbling straight back. The light bulb went on. What that told me is that I would have to always aim slightly to the left of what I would perceive as being center on the cue ball in order to hit the cue ball in the middle. Huge, you guys. That what, that, what I just said and it's not even covered. I mean, I have watched countless hours of instructional video. The only, the closest um, instructor, I'd say the closest uh, explanation for this, and, and, and the only instructor that I've seen talk about this really in any kind of depth, is Tor Lori. He talks about it a little bit, but really not a lot. And he's a great instructor. You gotta strike the cue ball in the center, and this is why. Now this is exactly where it really gets interesting. When you're making that long shot, it doesn't have to be the Mighty X, it can be any shot, and you miss, I guarantee you our thoughts are this. Wow, what did I do? Did I stroke it wrong? Did I physically do something wrong? Physically. It has nothing to do with that physically. If you work at your stroke and you do all the mechanics right, your foundation is right, you know, your, your hand is over your cue stick, all the lever is in line, it can, it can be this. Not physical, but it can be what your vision is seeing. You think you're lined up right, but you're not. When you hit the ball, like I was hitting the ball to make counterclockwise spin happen, I'm hitting it to the right side. On a long shot, when I hit that ball with any kind of speed or a stroke, it's gonna squirt the cue ball to the left. When the cue ball goes left, it hits the left side of the object ball down there and it kicks it to the right 
And in some cases, if it doesn't go in, it misses badly. You gotta hit the cue ball in the center, is what I'm trying to say here. I'm gonna put a link at the end of this video, and it's going to be on the Mighty X Drill, one of my videos, and it's going to uh, cover the draw shot. Click on it and watch it and try it. Pay attention to your cue ball and how it's rotating. If it's rotating or not rotating, let's say, if it's not rotating, you're golden. <clears throat> you're golden. Forget about this video. But if you have rotation on a cue ball like I did, counterclockwise spin, or maybe you have clockwise spin, you are not, <clears throat> excuse me, you are not hitting the cue ball in the middle. You gotta hit the cue ball in the middle. Do you need to buy this? You may want to. 16 bucks, good money, easy, easy money. Well, well worth the investment with the DVD in it and everything else. It's a good thing. I'm plugging the guy's product, but it works. If you can get this cue ball to not spin sideways when you're doing uh, stop shots, draw shots, or whatever, that's a wonderful thing. But the real, uh, the real thing about that is, is that you're not going to put squirt on the cue ball, which is going to throw the cue ball off line, and you possibly could miss your object ball. Those misses that you are having may not be the mechanics, but it may be your perception, okay? Your perception is everything in this game. You gotta be able to see, right? And if you can do everything else right, you're gonna be a great pool player. As so much as I wanna say about this, man, I've been inspired to do this. I thought about this today, and I thought, you know what? This is good quality stuff here, good content. This is gonna help our games, okay? If you have any comments, go ahead and leave them here. Um, if you're a subscriber, that's wonderful. Thanks for, for the support of my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hook up with us, man. Because videos like this, uh, I put out every once in a while. I mean, I try to share everything that I learn, okay? There's no secrets in this game, okay? We all wanna get better. And I'm gonna try to, not only for myself, do what I think is best for me, but I wanna convey that same thing that I learned back to you. So hit the subscribe button if you want and uh, become a part of this and looking forward to sharing more video in the future. Take care guys.